Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So as you all know, this is Betty. I am the owner and creator of Betty's Custom Design here on YouTube, Etsy, Facebook, and Instagram. And so uh, yesterday's video, we worked with a few images out of this book that I picked up on uh, Saturday at my local library in their bookstore. And then this is another book I picked up from there. I also paid $2 for this book and it's Webster's Beginning Book of Facts. And so I think what I'm going to do today is mainly um, go through some of these books and just kind of pull out different images that I would want to use, um, different things I would want to use in um, journal cards or envelopes, uh, anything like that. So I think that's what today's video will be. I don't know that I'll actually do any um, crafting per se, um, but I just want to kind of, I guess you would call it harvesting the books. So I just want to start on it and just, um, you know, like here, I want to start on this first page and just go ahead and just start getting out images that I know that I will use. And so I do have a box for these images here um, that I will be getting out of here today. So anything that I see that I would use, whether it be, um, and I am actually going to go around that and I'll trim this one up. But anything that I see that I might would use in say a journal card, a tag, you know, whatever it is, I will um, just go ahead and cut it out. And that way, when I want to use it, it's already there and ready for me. And so I need to trim this up from where I trimmed around that one. So there's a nice image ready to use. Um, I might could use that piece of the American flag. It is a great like texture. So I will probably go ahead and trim that. So these are different textures that I can use. Same thing with this, and I think this one's small enough, I'm gonna cut this with my hands. So those are like um, backgrounds, you know, for whenever I need to add something in somewhere. Um, I might better do this by hand for right now, and then we can trim it up. So I'm gonna use this. Let me just go ahead and cut this image out. And I'm trying to save as much as the of the other images and the background colors as I can because I think they will do really good like for background pages or journal cards. That is small enough I'm not going to save. This I will save. So see, that's a background. Let me get that. So let's trim this up. Want to get it, you know, it doesn't have to be very perfect right now because we can straighten it up when we go to use it. Let's see, like that yellow there. That can be used. And this American flag part in yellow can be used. So I'm just, I've pretty much harvested, you know, say this entire page um, can be used. You see, I threw that one little tiny sliver away. Oh, wait, I'm sorry, I'm throwing one more sliver away. But that's all that I threw away out of the entire thing. Okay, so let's do this one. Now, I 
seen this and it looks like it won't interfere with this, but I think I want this image more. So let me attempt to cut this out. And I'm gonna try my hardest to cut it out good, but I don't know. So like in this situation, I had to pick and choose which image I wanted the most. And so I wanted this one more so than the other one. So that's why I made the decision to cut this one. And I may, I don't know, I'd have to, I'm gonna have to look and see. I may be able to salvage some of the other one, but I doubt it because it looked like it was a pretty small image. Okay, so we have that. Um, let's see if there's anything that we can do with that little piece. Maybe not, but we'll get it cut out and then we can get a better look at it. I think we can do something with it. Yep, I think we can. Oh yeah. And so now we have this up here. So let's cut this out. That'll make a great spot for a journal or to go on a journal card or tag. Very cute. Very, very cute. So yeah, whenever you are thinking about things to make journal cards with or tags, you know, look at stuff, number one, look at stuff you may already have. Um, and number two is, you know, um, look at some books that you wouldn't normally think that you would use. Um, I'm just looking for my tiny scissors. I literally just had them, but oh well. I may have put them in here. I bet I did. Good. Okay, so let's cut this out. But yeah, just look at, you know, magazines, catalogs. Um, junk mail that you get even a lot of that has stuff that you can use just like this um, you know look at it in a different way than what you normally would and you, you would be surprised at what all you can get and do you know because a lot of people don't have I know I don't have unlimited funds to buy all of the I mean, and Lord knows, I want to buy everything that Tim Holtz comes out with, pretty much. But, you know, let's face facts. I can't afford it. Um, I would love to, but it's not going to happen. So, I try to look for things that I can do with what I have. All right, guys, I will be back. My hubby just got home. All right, guys, I'm back. He's bringing stuff in from the other house. So I will keep working on this for a few minutes. Let's see what we can get done. But yeah, there's all kinds of stuff that you can do um, to get ephemera and even for, you know, background pages. Um, yes, I love it when you guys buy my digitals, but you know, you don't have to have those to do um, amazing journals. Um, just like I showed you using that yellow sheet and the red out of this, you know, that's amazing background papers. So you can use stuff like that. You know, so there's always stuff you can do. Um, you don't have to break the bank or, you know, anything like that. 
you know, finances are hard and I get it. And so I really would like to try and, um, you know, feature ways to do stuff in your journals without having to go out and buy stuff. Um, Cause I remember a time, there was a time that my ex-husband and I, we didn't have money to even buy a five cent piece of gum, you know, and there's no way I could have done anything like this. So I remember being in that situation. And so I would love to be able to feature stuff that, you know, might help um, others. So like these are words here that I would probably use. Like this one is nation. So there's a good one. And then here's a good one. So there's some words. And here's my handsome hubby. He's bringing stuff in. This should oh, be cool. good for your table. Yeah. Thank you, baby. Show it to your subbies. Oh, see, he brought me in a... It's a disposable cutting board is what yeah, it is. Yeah, it's a disposable oh. cutting board, so it's I will nice use and it. It's smooth. Yes, thank and you, it baby. it keeps all the sticky stuff off the table. See, I have an amazing hubby. I told you guys. <laughs> Y'all just don't know how amazing this man is. It's only a rumor. No, it's not. No, it's not. He is amazing. He's so sweet. So sweet. Which I have a self healing cutting mat, but you know what? I will use that because you know why? He brought it to me. I will absolutely use it. So I'm just cutting out these words. And the S is cut off at this a little bit, but you know what? We can still use it. And this would be good to use. And then legends. That's a cool word. So I can cut that out. And we'll cut out customs as well. Because those would be great in journals. So there's ledgers and customs. Okay. Let's see what I else. love you, kitten. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> see, guys, he's amazing. I told y'all he's amazing. I love that crazy man of mine. <laughs> Okay, so let's see. And let's use this. Oh, I used a bunch of that paint today. Yeah. Love it. Did you show it to your people? Yeah, I did. Nice. Okay, there's. Did you tell them the price you got yet? I did. <laughs> so, let's see, I'm just getting these trimmed up to be able to be used um, for whatever we, you know, might want them for. But you see, I've, again, I've used this entire page almost, and I have a lot of stuff I can use. So, let's see. Um, we will cut, actually, I'm gonna leave that like that because I can use that as I go. And we will do one more page and then we will call it done. Um, I'm gonna throw that a little bit away. Okay, one more page, let's see. Oh, this is a cute one. So let's do this one. Cut this one out. And this one has a bunch of little images to use. Okay. And so we have all of these little squares here. 
không and in addition I like the where it says chapter those would make great labels okay so there's that look at this chapter three Man, this page has given us a lot. Look, there's a label, just like that. And then we have this one. Okay, so I'm mean, see, we've only done, this is our third page, and look at all of the ephemera that we've already got. Crazy. Another label. This is fun, 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 fun. Okay. Let's get this one. label. I'm almost done. I'm finishing up this page and then I need to make those dumplings. And then we have this one. This one's cute. Literally, it gave us a lot of stuff. Okay, and then there's this one. good on a tag or journal card and then there's the life and then the number we like numbers okay and so let's see we have this here so again I'm Pulling these out. Okay guys, sorry about that. Somebody called and it knocked it off, but I, it wasn't too much that we missed. So I'm just showing you what I got out of the three pages that we did. So these are all backgrounds that can be used. All of those can be used like to go behind pictures or labels. And then words. Oh, look at all these words. Oh, here's another background. And then these, that's like a label, but these are all the different words that we can use. So we got quite a bit. It's another label, another label, a label, 
and this was just three pages that we done. So we got all of this out of three pages. So let's see. All right, and then for our images, we got all of these. I don't know if you can see. I don't think I'm even in screen. So these are all of the words that we got that we can use. And then this is all background pages that we can use or pieces that we can use in our journals. And then images, we got all of these. Here's another label. But yeah, just some super cute images. That can be used in a journal, on a journal card, a tag, anything like that. So there you go guys. Just take a look around you at the different things and see what you have that you might can use as um, ephemera. It doesn't have to be scrapbook paper. You can get it out of anything. So that's it guys. Thanks for watching and I will see you tomorrow. Bye guys.